Oftentimes you'll find yourself weighing out a small amount of material, one or two MIGs. And in these cases, there's a very particular way to weigh out that makes it a much more accurate measurement. So the first thing to do is start with a weigh paper and you want to crease it diagonally. Okay, and just fold a sharp crease right down the middle of it. Okay, this is what you're now going to put onto the scale. and you want to tear it. Um, although it seems very trivial to be putting the weigh paper on, one common mistake that people will often make is using a large vessel, either a flask or a round bottom sitting on a cork ring, and tear that and then add a MIG to that. In this case, we've gone with a single piece of weigh paper and it weighs about 400 milligrams. Now if you contrast this with something like a cork ring and a round bottom flask, that's going to be much heavier. So we need to consider when weighing something out, how much of a difference in that total absolute weight are we actually going to make? And it's pretty clear that percentage wise, one milligram or two milligrams will make a much bigger percentage difference on a piece of weigh paper than they would in a round bottom flask. The easiest way to transfer that one or two milligrams of solid into your tube is to now utilize that crease that we folded initially and essentially pour your solid into the tube. This way you transfer all of the powder into your tube. So in the end, when weighing out very small amounts of material, you want to avoid heavy, large flasks or cork rings, and you want to go with a, a light weigh paper. This will give you a much more accurate reading.